everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Mr. Phil Show. Uh, tonight, we're going to be having our guests seven on Pump One, and uh, it, we're going to have a bit of fun for, you know, th- these guys are, are pretty good. They're, well, I shouldn't say pretty good. They're really good, and, and they're a lot of fun to have on the show. Um, so right now, before things get rolling along too much, because I know we have a lot to talk about, let me introduce to you my best friend and hopefully yours, Mr. Phil. Hello, Phil. Hello, Mary. How so, are you? All righty. Yeah, so, uh, uh, you've been doing a lot of stuff lately. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, it's a lot of things coming up, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, we've got, well, we we just uh, had the Catskill Film Festival. Oh, yes, that was, that wonderful. was wonderful. I didn't get to go, I wasn't feeling well. You went, even though you had your, your uh, what is it, cardiac catheterization. Your cardiac catheterization, right, I still managed to do it. Well, I mean, at, luckily, it's not one of those things where they had to do something. Yeah. And it, and it was just a day's recovery, so you got blessed by that. Oh, I did. And uh, so you were able to get up and run around and do your usual Mr. Phil thing. The next day after yeah. it, I did three things and the next. And your wife got to go with you and have a good time. I love that. That was That's really nice. Yeah. So I've, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Oh. And I'm hoping to see next year that it comes back bigger and better. Yes. Every year you can always do bigger and better. Every bigger year. Bigger and better. Always and strive for more. Like, I just want to say it's not the quantity of it. It's the quality. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it was a small, intimate festival, but it was beautiful. And it'll grow. It, yeah. it will grow. Yes, it will but grow. That that core family that we, we built in the beginning yes you know that 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 they've gotten going i think that's going to help keep it strong yes uh, so i hope <laughs> that they can keep getting a venue and that they can keep pro- you know producing that and having it oh yes i mean it, i'll put it to you this way folks it was elegant yeah. it was um an old fashioned hotel that looked like you were in the middle of uh, the Midwest or the mountain states someplace, in the middle of uh, Colorado well, or y- Nevada. You really were in the middle of, you know, the mountains. I mean, it was Calicoon. So Calicoon, New York, if anybody's not from there, you know, look it up on the map. We are kind of, it's in the Catskills. Right. You know, so nice, nice area. Elegant there. ballroom. And I'm just saying that it was Nice, sitting at tables, watching the uh, awards ceremony, which they did live. They showed portions of the film, and they right. said, and the winner is, and that person would come up and get the award. It, I mean, folks, it was like something you'd see like in a smaller stuff, fashion right? on the yeah. Academy Awards. Yeah, yeah yes. it's wonderful. And when I walked in there, they treated me like a celebrity. Well, you are the local celebrity, and, you know, people know that. So, hey, everybody, this is Mr. Phil. You see him on the road, you see him on the street. Honk at him if you see him on the road. Don't R- distract him too much, though, because he might drive off the road. But <laughs> <laughs> go say hi. If you see me on the, out, out somewhere, come over and say hi and let us know you, that you've seen us on our show. It means a lot to us to, to know who's watching us right you know actually on that i on that note i do want to say i noticed that you know we always roll when, when we roll our credits my email address is always up there yes. mary frost sings 714 at yahoo.com if you all would please just do me a favor send me even one word that just says yes let me know what you're when you're watching let me know where you're from, what, ta- what town you're watching from. <laughs> yes, right. I'm, I'm trying to gauge about how far we're reaching out. And if you've seen us on YouTube, still, send us that. Let me know. You saw it on YouTube and what city you're in. This way we can kind of get an idea. I would love to be able to know how many people are really watching yes. us. What you think of the show. Be honest. I, I don't mind. Be honest. You won't hurt my feelings any. Right. Okay. Um, let us know what you think, and let us get a good count. And you know, later on in the year, 
I'll start tallying that stuff right. and we'll be able to tell you, hey, look, we're this many strong and I, I'd really love to have that information. Yes. So take a few seconds. Like I said, uh, send an email to, to Mary Frost Sings 714 at yahoo.com. Just send me a little message. Saw the show, liked it, loved it, hate it, and where you're from. <laughs> yes. So we know. And, and you know what? Probably something good to include would be what time did, it, did you see it? What time of day did it show in your area? Right, definitely. That would, that would really be We're so wide crowded with so many different channels and everything. Right, because people are always asking us, in my area, when is it going to be on? When is it going to be on in my area? Right. Well, I would like feedback on that if, if you're so inclined, and I hope you are. Right, and we're, gonna tr we're trying to expand also. Exactly. Like our next stop we want to get is Peak Skill. Mm -hmm. that's, that's that where uh, my husband, Ken, and I grew up. We're looking to get into that market as well, um, hopefully very soon. We've right. had a, a lot of things going on that have just, you know, pushed that one to the side because, you know, everything we're trying to do, we've got so much going on. Right. It just it requires filling out paperwork and all that. Oh, yes. Just submitting mm -hmm. shows, going down and meeting with them, that kind right. of thing. Right. And we're also yeah. wanted in Rockland County for yeah. our show. Exactly. So yeah. we have to do actually travel to those places though and talk to those people. Yes, we do. So we've got to maybe slow down our schedule. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Between the two of us, we've got so many things going on. You know. Oh. Um, see, Phil's been doing. He he recorded a few of his songs with Carl Richards. Yes. His producer, and uh, I was just recently doing some songs with a friend of mine uh, who's producing. Um, Kind of a, an intro album for me. Mm. It's, a, it's a lot of fun. Right. I've got five songs on there so far. And uh, another exciting thing. One of the guests we had on this show, uh, a singer-songwriter, oh, very yeah. experienced. She wants to take us to her singer-songwriter's workshop to get people for the show. Yeah. And to teach us. So we start to, yeah, absolutely. How to write our own songs, because uh, our next uh, thing is to get Mary into this, too, to the original songs. Oh, yeah, and well, my husband writes the music. Yes. We just can never come up with the lyrics. Right. So that would be an excellent yeah, workshop for us. Yeah, that's our next yes. goal, to get Mary and get me new songs and get some... Originals for why not duets now. Duets that we could really <laughs> put ourselves out there absolutely absolutely and this week another thing i, I finally got up to the casino in monticello did to you the resorts you, I, when did you do that i did that last saturday oh last oh okay because good. one of the uh girls that i started out here when she was that's 15 right. years old that's right uh, who was Caitlin Caparelli, mm -hmm. uh, she was playing up there at the 360 Lounge. What a show she put yeah, on. Yeah, good girl, Caitlin. Way to go. Yes, and she's going to be coming on our show because now she has originals oh, also. Oh, yeah, and we need an update. Yes, and she gave me some, played some of the originals that night so I could hear her. Ah, wonderful. Uh, and she's going to be coming on the show and... Mm. Uh, that is really knowing seeing her up there knowing she was from the voice and that she started out on here here yes and when she was on youtube with the voice right above her show on youtube was the mr phil show that she did for me years back that's wonderful see so you know what folks we keep pulling people in here all the time and uh getting them in here with their originals and stuff and just you guys watching them and then spreading the word i just saw this great new group they're local, and supporting them, you see where it, it gets them. You know, not everybody's going to get there that comes on our show. Right. But if we can get one out of 50 guests, one out of 100 guests to, to go a little further. Yes. That makes a big deal. Oh, yeah. You know, and it means so much to us to be able to give people that opportunity. Oh, yeah, that they never uh, would have gotten. Yeah. I mean, just, just to be able to say, hey, you know what? Come on, we got a we got a place for you. We're gonna put you on TV. We're gonna put you out there. Put you on YouTube. It's great. Right. I mean, it's it's really nice. I mean, I remember when she started out when she was 15 years old wow. back in 2007. Oh, amazing. That was the year 2007 where so many of our 
uh, girls that came on the show back then are out there. Veronica Cole, who's right. out there touring, recording, yeah. cruise ships, you name it. That's she it. started with me exactly uh, uh, around this year. time. Wow. Then I had another one start the week before, and she tried out for American Idol. They didn't take her. Now she's opening up uh, for stars over in, in the UK. Great. See, so, so <laughs> it may not happen overnight, but you know what? With persistence, and you've got this as a, as a jump off point, you know what? We can help you make things happen. And it just, nothing makes us happier. Right. You know, you know like people ask me, you used to have all these spots on national TV. Right. Why aren't you doing them anymore? You know, and my answer is because I'm concentrating on this. Doing this. Because to me, this is my thing. And it's just absolutely just the same as that. Yeah. Because I know the little secrets of national TV. They only give you like 90 seconds to do a song. They do. And they tell you what to say and what not to say and how to say it and when to say it and where to say it's it. It's true. Yes. So we don't do that here. <laughs> yeah, we don't do that here. So, you know, I haven't been pushing for those things. Right. But, you know, people, we're, we're the springboard. We are everybody's springboard. And as long as they want to jump into our pool and use our springboard, go right <laughs> yeah, ahead, you know, go make a splash. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so uh, I think that'll be, that's just, it's so much fun to be able to say, hey, you know, that person, yeah, they started out on our show. And Phil lights up every time you see somebody that's done something. Right. You know? We've got a couple of girls. Uh, don't we have somebody somebody that was on Broadway? or? Yes, we do. We have people on Broadway. Oh, and, yeah. Um, you know, some people that are getting into films. and. Then uh, somebody who st started here with us won The Voice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That so. we, we met on a Columbus Day weekend <laughs> over in... Uh, Sugarloaf. Yes, Sugarloaf. And then she right. went on the voice and boom, she won. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, things can happen. Oh, yeah. You know, so it's it's important for us to have viewers and, and when you're watching, tell somebody else, hey, catch the show, you know, and uh, any shows that you see like right now, um, give it, what, about two months or so and then it'll be on YouTube. Yes. If you see it here first. Give us two months or so. Go on YouTube. Tell your friends across the country to, to look at this. And that's that's the way to give our people a good springboard jump. Right. You know, that'll you know, really, really propel them. Yes. You know, yeah. And, and us, too. Yes. I mean, you know, we're still interested in doing things. If anybody wants to use us for commercials, they want to interview us on their show. Right. I'm trying to do that. Yeah. In fact, we do have... Uh, a major radio broadcast coming up. Coming up. We got other people that have uh, TV shows, and we said, we're going to exchange. You come on us, we'll come on yours. That's I right. mean, all the time on Facebook, I'm running into a lot of people doing that now. Yeah, yeah. You scratch our back, we'll scratch yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, though. I said, you ready? Okay, so um, okay. we are. Uh, ha are um, going to be going into a previously recorded session with with seven on pump one so you're going to see a whole different screen now and then we're going to start right with the interview it's kind of the center of the interview we had right. a, we had a glitch being that we do live tv we, ha we did have a glitch right and um so we're filling in and now we're going to introduce our our guys seven on pump one yes and uh you know we uh, we're able to get, you know, uh, the interview. Yes, we were uh, able to get the interview. Yeah, we had a little glitch. The only part that we really missed was this first Just part us. with uh, us. Our banter, yeah. Yeah, our banter, whatever we do. So We need to fill in that, the, that time to, to round out the show. So anyway, without any further complications, yeah. hopefully today we'll be able to run the whole rest of it. Right, and just know... We want to say thank you to uh, Gene Faccarelli yes, for, for giving us, us those, those this. Guys. Yeah, yeah, because we wouldn't have we wouldn't have what we have, including this, if it wasn't. That's for true. Him. That's true. He gives us a lot of people. So with that, we're gonna back off. We're gonna give you to the show that's in progress, 
and uh, we will just see you next week. Enjoy the rest of the next show. Next week. <laughs> well, yeah, next week with seven. Uh, enjoy seven on pump one. The rest of the show tonight. Okay. Good night. Good night. Mm. Brings, uh, brings to mind a lot much harder hard rock music and, and 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 moshing and stuff like that. That's what I think when I think dance fight. Makes me think of Fall Out Boy or like Panic at yeah. the Disco. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Okay. Yep. You're <laughs> right. Yeah. It could could th do that too. But um, like my husband and I too, when we were coming up with a name for for our act, oh gosh, we had so many different ones and. It was like, okay, wait a minute, so that sounds familiar. So he'd run to the computer, put it in. Of course, you know, there's like 15 bands pop up yeah. with the same name. So we go by, why not now? Well, that's great. If you if you actually Google 7 on Pump 1, without spaces, of course, because if you use spaces, there's keywords. Right. But if you do it all without any spaces, the only thing that'll come up is our Facebook pages. Oh, see? So, cause, so, so it's, it's a very original name. Original. Yeah. Well, we thought that um, Why Not Now was going to be original. It didn't come up with a lot of stuff. And now there are a few. So now it's Marion Ken's Why Not Now. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, because people always ask me, well, you know, can you, can you do this now? Can you do this now? And I'm like, yeah, why not now? <laughs> yeah, so it stuck. And uh, this, I think this is, this is great. Your name is just, it's going to stick because it's, it's it's out there and yeah, different, yeah. and when people say that name, you automatically are going to think of you guys. Yeah, it's great. Hopefully, they think of like any you know certain songs. I, like m my main thing when I was trying to think of names, and again, I didn't think of this one, but when I was throwing ideas out, I just wanted a name that was like, you know, you hear it and you think of certain songs. Right. Like there's certain. I don't know what band names we're allowed to say on this. I know we can't play covers. Right. I don't, know, I don't know what words are. Them. You can say names of bands as long as you don't <laughs> yeah. play their music. Then like yeah. Green Day. Like Green yeah, Day's Green, name. Okay, Green Day. Right, you know, yeah. Green Day is, you know, a day where everybody indulges in marijuana. Yeah, right. And 420. <laughs> yeah, now when you think of Green Day, it's like they have such a career behind them. Oh, a huge following. So. Yeah, and I, I'm hoping that one of these days you guys are going to... Yeah. Get to that, and Thank you. you know, if, if that's what you're aspiring to, and that's what you're trying to do, that's exactly why we put people like right. you on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Just like so, um, tell me a little bit about uh, how long you guys have been playing together. Uh, we've well, we've we were asked this question recently, and we were like, uh, well, we've known e we've known each other since. Well, that. yeah. That's not what I asked since you. Since sixth grade, we've been friends. Yeah. And we've, then um, we've jammed about a bit. Yeah. In sixth then. grade, we played like. Guitar Hero and stuff together. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. That's when the band first and started. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, did you know yeah. how to really play guitar though? Besides just Guitar Hero. Did well, you know at you first I didn't. Oh. Well, at first, yeah. Then I went to, um, yeah, music academy, or, and yeah, I learned to play guitar in like eighth grade, Great. seventh grade. Okay. So Where was this that you went to? Uh, Talento, and that used to be in. Um, Blooming Grove, I think. Oh. Uh, Washingtonville, oh, like the. Uh, in that area. They yeah. Got, they got a school in Walden, the New York School for Music. I didn't even know that one. Okay. Over is there, th they, is that a they actually conservatory? The Hudson Valley Conservatory. That's another one. That's, that's a different a one. Different that I know. I know the uh, Hudson Valley Conservatory because Pam Murphy, uh, she was she used to be one of our co-hosts here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, she has a show that she does on this channel as well as on uh, our New York Manhattan channel and our Hudson Valley channel, right. Pam Time. So, yeah. well, I, well, sta sort of I started like her out yeah. on TV. I started her, um, and she used to bring her kids on here, and the kids used to perform, right. especially on Christmas shows, and then. Uh, she decided she wanted to start recording, and she made a CD, and she said it was me who inspired her. Well, that's to it. Do See, that. That's what we that's do. A good thing we to like hear. to inspire people. That's a good thing to hear. We've heard that a few times. Oh, that, that's yeah. great. We um we we played at this uh, fundraiser. What was the fundraiser for? I think the fundraiser was for, for St. Jude. For St. Jude, oh, it was wow. cancer at the uh, uh, the Carriage yeah. House yeah. in New Jersey. Yeah, oh. Carriage House in um. Branchville, Branchville, New, New Jersey. Jersey. So Pocono Mountain Jam Company, they they 
pretty much hosted that and they did the sound and the lighting for, well it was outdoor but they're a sound and lighting right. company um and this band whiskey crossing opened for it and we played we know them uh yeah Ta yeah tina tina we know her she's been on this show yeah yeah oh. so the bassist in that band currently matt barnes we love Matt. <laughs> Matt, if you're watching this, I love you. So like Mary says, I first met everybody's Matt. Everybody's been on our show. <laughs> yeah, I first met Matt um, like a, when we first started a couple of years back. We would play at this open mic uh, in Newburgh, Orange County Choppers Cafe. Yes. Um, they still have open mic, right on Wednesday nights. I don't know if they still do it. I don't know. They they now have karaoke. They have karaoke in fact, on Thursday. Mark, nights. our buddy, his company does it. Mm. Mm. So if you yeah. We actually showed up there once on because yeah we used to go to the open mic open nights mic. there, and uh, we showed up one day and we went in and That's we right. asked yeah, the lady yeah, yeah. and she said yeah they don't do it anymore so oh wow yeah That's too bad that's too bad because I from what I hear I ha I haven't personally been up there yet Phil's been up there a couple of times they have a great stage and everything oh it's yeah. so you know so it, I want to go up and nothing do like any karaoke we've ever been to right I mean this is a sound system. You think, you but know. They just, record it too, though, don't they? Yes, yeah. everything, I mean. The crowd stuff, though, I mean, that's because Orange County Choppers Cafe, like, it's kind of a tourist trap for people that like Orange County Choppers. Right. right. So the, the diner is kind of like, or the cafe is like an extension of that. So people there, like, if, if you're a young. Young buckaroos young like, like us, yeah. when we were first starting, it's like they're not interested in what you're playing. It's like right. they're, well, they're eating their food. If you go up and play, like, a song they know, it's like a, it's like a bigger dive bar. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's very like, hard to, to go out it, it with was all cool. originals. It was cool. Yeah, yeah. It was nice when you did play an original and the people there liked it. Like, there was this guy that hosted the open mics there when we would go. His name was uh, Ray. Oh, I forgot Ray's last name. But, um... Morales? Ray Morales, yeah. yeah. He was a... I haven't seen him in like, a few years, but he's a really cool dude. And he always supported us when we were playing music. That's and great. He's a really cool dude. So it made it okay, you know, that the people eating didn't weren't really interested in us. You know, uh, Ray yeah. Ray liked us, and Ray was cool, so that was something, you know. You know, even if even if they didn't seem like they were interested, you know what? They were eating, you were playing, and they yeah. had to hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, unless they were wearing earplugs. They, we did, were, they did get it in their ears. So. Mary and I were once... About two years ago, the uh, WRWD yeah. Country mm -hmm. Showdown, it's a country radio station yeah. that's in the Hudson Valley, and uh, they had like an, a big thing, like an American Idol type thing. Yeah. Mm. In fact, technically, it's even bigger. Uh, it goes for longer periods of time. It's more private, like it starts in uh, clubs right. and makes its way down to Nashville, and that's how Garth Brooks got his start, start and a lot of others oh, wow. so mary and i uh were down there one time yeah. getting guests getting guests for our show oh. uh and uh, they treat they treated us royally Very well the, the and, and of course we both got up and sang too you know we were both big hams so yeah. <laughs> you know but uh i mean then i then i was there the year before mm -hmm. you know trying to get guests for the show then but it made a difference to have a, a di the director with me because right. when she goes out to do a job mary she gets it done i usually walk up to someone with my date book already out in my hand do you want to be on our show you do oh great i got the dates right here <laughs> yeah i think that's a good way to do it it's the um, way to do business period. are you guys going to be playing anywhere local around here soon or do you want to do the gig announcements or do yeah, you want me do to I, mean, I, I mean put it all out there, put it out there. well if you if you follow our facebook and instagram you'll see a good deal of that but facebook is like you know and it's you know you don't have to follow us i'll i'll tell you now if you're watching well yeah our, our uh, closest gig is august 11th I yeah think. we're actually pocono mountain jam company is uh hosting that again so oh. and whiskey crossing's playing it's at um the sussex, sussex county, county fair. fair oh wow oh. okay <laughs> <laughs> is this the thing for st jude you mean uh i don't know if this is for st jude this is for i think this is for the agriculture community um mm -hmm. to yeah, raise awareness a, for them it's a fair, yeah. yeah so we're yeah. playing that and then on August 18th, we're playing at a pretty local DIY um, garage show in New Windsor. Nice. Um, if, if you see our Instagram or Facebook, you'll see details on that. And then that same night, we're doing a gig at, at this um, place called Hayloft Venue, okay. which is a really cool spot. Um, a newly acquired friend of ours, of who we did a gig 
we've done a gig with um uh what you call it we did two gigs with him so he he lives there and he has these day really off cool musician day off musician yes uh, follow him follow day off it's just day, day off. off yeah <laughs> he's oh. he's a one man band okay um and it's like he uses a lot of cool he does he has a looper station he's really talented right. he's really great um and then on the on August 24th we're playing at uh Jive's Bar and Lounge in Milford, Pennsylvania. Wow. Okay. We're we're waiting to announce that because we don't know who we're gonna play that gig with yet. Right. Trying to find somebody. Somebody to do um, it with you. Yeah. Yeah, and then we. I'm trying to get us something on September 1st, but uh, I don't know. Right, but, well. Um, October 12th. It's it's a ways ahead. So, um, there's this place in Pennsylvania, in Honesdale, Pennsylvania, called Old School Farm. Mm-hmm. We played there recently, um, in July. Um. And so on Fridays they have this night where they have pizza. So this guy he has he makes pizza with everything he produces on the farm. So wow. from scratch it's wood fire pizza. Great. Like yeah, great pizza by the way. Delicious it pizza. Sounds like it's gotta be yeah, yeah. All fresh stuff. <laughs> so a lot of people come in, you know, they get pizza, you know, they bring their kids or whatever, and they have sure. they kind of have this flatbed that they have. Um, you know that they have music on so we played so there and they, they set up like a stage yeah, the they, flatbed yeah they really liked us there and the guy who owns it is a really cool dude so oh, wow. if anybody heads over there definitely like sit and chat with him he's a cool dude we'll have to do that because my husband yeah. and i are constantly looking for gigs we, we're looking for to do stuff and uh, you know if you want somebody to play gigs with you let me know we're just <laughs> doing acoustic set wow. it's just the two of us you know we uh we break down our music from you know all the whatever is going on in the music um my best example is Iron Maiden, Wasted Years. I think I saw you at Cafe Alamo doing that. You may I could have, have sworn yes. I yeah, I and sworn um, I saw you at Cafe Alamo doing that broken did down. That. You did a Led Zeppelin thing, and I was, I was like, that's pretty. It's yeah, it's pretty cool. cool. It's it's it yeah. just to give people you know that that bare bones. This is where this stuff started before everybody added things into it and added orchestration and added whatever else they were going to do yeah. and the drums and the bass and the it's a lot of fun. It's yeah. a lot of fun. You know, the uh, that's one of the most popular open mic the Cafe Alamo in Warwick on Friday nights. Very, very we we've, we've yeah. had really good. I think when we first started playing together like that place showed us a lot of love like I so bet. we we constantly went back and uh, yeah the guy who hosts it jim really cool. yep. he's a really jim awesome. he's a, he's a nice really guy. really cool dude nice <laughs> i really guy. like jim a lot have you ever gone up to the noble Co- coffee roasters yes yeah. um yeah. i saw mr phil there yeah yeah okay, right. saying, we, there. we go up there um i haven't been up there as much as he has but um and we've only been together for three years little under three years right and uh so i have you know don't have half the experience with them but i do know everybody pretty well they know me pretty well i don't exactly stay quiet <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so but yeah. it's funny with the other one the friday night one cafe Alamo, a lot of uh our guests that came here started over there one night uh, i went there and i picked up four guests and mm-hmm. booked them right then and there yeah. last year. Um, and then uh, two of the girls that started with me here that have gone on to major careers before me started at the uh, Cafe Alamount. I had this one, Zarina Lupo, comes all the way from Yorktown Heights mm-hmm. to go over there. That's then Westchester County. I don't know if you guys have any idea about where that area right. might be. Yeah, it's all down south. Tristan's the navigation man. South. Right. <laughs> if I were to get lost Down in the woods south. with anybody. Yeah. It's it's yeah. Tristan. <laughs> Going more towards New York City. Then area. another one, Emma Billu. Uh she was twelve years old when she came over there and that's where she met Jean and then Jean sent her over here. Yeah. Uh she was twelve years old when she started with yeah. us. Yeah. So we gotta give our props to Jean and, and Jim too. I mean Yeah, you know. Jean. And, and his dog. They, they throw excellent open mics. Yes, he does. He always brings his dog. His dog is always there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He has such a good dog. Oh, yeah. he's, he's, <laughs> he's beautiful. Yeah. Really beautiful. But, uh, well, talking of beautiful things, I really want to see what kind of beautiful things you guys can put out for us. Are you about ready to play? 
No, yeah, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The answer is always got to be. Yes, we're ready. Yes. We can play on the couch, too, if you it's want, like, but all of our gears like over said, there. My, game, my name, why not now? Yeah, yeah. why not now? Yeah, why not now? now? Yeah, let's play. Why let's not play. now? Yeah. All right, yeah. so we're going to let you guys go head over, get yourselves together, get set up, and then the camera's going to cut over to you. Oh, I'll just like, let you play your hearts out, you know, out, yeah. and uh, we'll give you a thumbs up when we're ready to come over and close out the show. And if you don't mind, we'll have you play us out. Definitely. Sound like a good plan? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Sounds good. All right. Here we go. Let's get these guys yeah. up on the st up on the yeah. stage here. Okay. Yeah. And we'll be Thank we'll you. be talking to you again Very in good. about a half hour. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. A couple of talented young men. Yes. And, um, well, we didn't quite get about how long they've been playing together, only that they've known each other since sixth grade. Right. But that's okay. They're still, they're very young. So, um, you know, what they do do together and what we heard them practice that little bit in, um, while we were setting up. Yeah. Sounds like it's going to be really good. Oh, yeah. So, you guys are ready. Okay. Uh, let me t tell you when you're ready. Give me a... If you're ready, we'll switch over. Okay, so we just want to make sure everybody is perfectly ready and formed before we switch over because it's, right. just, it's not fair to show them doing all the process. So you just want to show them jamming, you know? Yeah, right. All right, you guys ready? We've got seven on pump one. Yeah. All right. Oh, baby, I'm a drifter, and I want you to walk into your heart. You've got to walk the wall, waiting for someone to catch you. Oh, I'm a drifter. Oh, feeling my own cause. I'm out to knock the wall, playing a piece for the belt at night. I see you stuck in my head, and I know you know exactly what I meant.
Thank you.
Get your ride for the night if you might get up. If you're going, then I'm feeling okay. It's too late in the story to abort your John. Right or die, I don't want to be late. All right, right, everything is physical. And that's so typical how we keep it up all night. I cannot replace you with nothing, nothing. Tell me that you don't feel the same. That you don't feel the same. That you don't feel the same.
Thank you. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you guys wrote all that stuff yourselves, huh? Yeah. Wow, that's that's great. I think you guys did a really good job. I, I love the vibe of the music. Um, I would love everybody to remember Seven on Pump One. Go to their Facebook page, see what they're up to. Um, get all the information on where you can go see them. I'm going to do yeah. that. You'll see me at one of your shows. You definitely <laughs> will. And probably Phil too. Right. He follows me everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or I make him take his car. <laughs> <laughs> so uh for um all of you watching uh like i said it's seven on pump one yeah. yes and we also want to let the people f to uh, let people know that the palateria on thursday nights from seven to nine we're gonna i'm gonna put that on my mary frost sings facebook page i'll advertise that i'm also going to be driving around with an advertisement of it in my back window so people you see me driving around right. you'll be seeing it yeah so yes. you know um and if there's any kind of advertisements you guys want to shoot my way send me a picture of something i'll put it in my car i don't care thank you it's free advertising <laughs> <laughs> and i mean i go all over the place oh i know advertising <laughs> so there's going to be a festival tomorrow in Warwick, it's called Battle, Battle Candle. Candle. If you look up Battle Candle 2018 on Facebook, really? on Google, find it. There's going to be three stages. It's probably going to be raining, but hell, it rains. <laughs> yeah. There's going to be a bunch of bands. Exactly. There's going to be over like 35 bands. Wow, really? A lot of bands. And where is it going to be? This is going to be in Warwick. In Warwick. Wickham Park, I think it's called. Wickham Park. If you look up Battle Candle 2018, we're not playing that one, unfortunately. But it sounds like fun. We played a pregame show for that at Milkweed. But right. Yeah, All right. If you guys want to see some crazy bands, like crazy good bands, a lot of them the we may have to go there and see if we can book some wow more than $20 we'll go there we'll get press pass tickets yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so phil we're gonna just uh sign yeah. off say goodnight okay and, and just yep. one thing before we go we just want to say that we're always welcoming donations oh always okay. yes we didn't uh, do our donations a bit but we definitely want to do that anybody that sees our show if you like our show um there's always improvements that can be made, either to the studio, to the camera work, to our the talent. <laughs> well, no, we we but we don't no, pay our talent. talent, but you know, but you know, uh, even our props, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they're a little bit lacking. They they they're ne they're needing something. So just send them to PO Box, three two one Port Jervis, New York one two seven seven one. Make your checks out to Access Twenty Three TV. That's right. It'll be at the end of your screen. Now, what are you going to let these two beautiful young men play us out? Okay, okay. take it out. So this one we wrote. All right. This one so we wrote like two days ago. Yeah, this one's pretty new. Well, I mean, you guys haven't heard her, her old stuff, but. <laughs> Looking through the window of your heart. It's been so long we've been apart I see you creeping in my memories That was just a start Till death, my darling, do we part Filling void in your bedroom Lock the door because I know you'll be here soon Up and up and please come out tonight don't say so long, just hear this song I know what's wrong, you're feeling ill It's in the afternoon for as long as I can remember Every time I find you, you're so far oh, Look through the window of your heart It's been so long, we've been apart I see you Just the star till death, my darling, do we part? I've been away for three days, seven sick, oh Lord. Give me a break, I've been missing out on loving you again. You don't know what I'm missing, running on my own. It's gone for distant love. Every time I find you, you're so far. I look through the window of your heart. It's been so long we've been apart. I see you creeping in my memory. That was just the 
stars till death, my darling, do we part? Oh, 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 oh,